It's so fun. hard to be here <laughs> and amazing at the same time. Jumela, Anyasio. You're very good. Jumela. <laughs> Jumela. Cute. And then when you say how are you, you say uh -huh. Likai. 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 And then they will say Rite. Rite. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to JQ channel and here is Alessa Mohana. Oh Yay! the reason that I invite her today is my start business. <laughs> Black people experience. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so <laughs> Tasha. So today I <laughs> I'm gonna ask her some questions about experience in Korea as a black woman. Yay! <laughs> Palesa. Palesa. It means flower. Flower. Oh my god. In that it's so sweet. Thank you. Palesa. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so can you introduce yourself, Palesa? Okay, guys, so my name is Palesa uh -huh. and my family name is Mujele. I am from South Africa, from a very, very small province called Free State. Oh. So yeah, I'm originally from Free State and then obviously I went to work in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. And I'm Karin Kesta Sangi, oh. a teacher in Korea. Well, I do many things in Korea, but yeah, the main thing is to be a teacher. Yeah, so when did you come to Korea? I came to Korea last year, February, oh. on the 28th. So that means you have already many experiences. I have a Korea. lot of experiences, a oh. lot. I'm so curious. <laughs> I can't wait to ask you. Many. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the main topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of stereotypes do Koreans have about black people? I think Koreans have a lot of um, mm. stereotypes about black people. Mm -hmm. I think they expect you to act a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, I can make example about at my workplace, right? Oh. So situations would happen, and sometimes I'm a very confrontational person. Like yeah, if yeah, something is like... wrong, I will. <laughs> You know, no, very nicely. I'll be like, oh, oh you know, this blunt. happened. So I just wanted to understand, you know, and I found that a Korean way of doing things is to mm -hmm. pretend mm -hmm. like they didn't happen, mm -hmm. like to not confront ah, the situation. Yeah, yeah. So if I don't confront it, I go home and it sort of like disturbs my mm -hmm. mood. So I want to confront it. So mm -hmm. one time I confronted my colleague about something that happened, and she was like, wow, her friend actually told her that black people are quite aggressive. Really? Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, am I wow. aggressive? And she was like, yeah, they told me you guys are very confrontational And I was like, no, we're actually quite different You get shy ones, you get talkative ones So, yeah, yeah. It's cheerful, not it's aggressive It's cheerful, yeah <laughs> Yeah, we're cheerful guys, we're not aggressive Oh, that's so rude mm. <laughs> It's very rude Can you tell me more about your experience that you have discriminated in Korea? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't call it ex discrimination, uh, so like to say. Judgment? How judgment, you? there's a lot of things. You know, one thing that I've done since mm -hmm. I've been to Korea is to try and understand that as people we're different, mm -hmm. right? So we perceive things differently. What I might perceive as offensive and mm -hmm. discriminative, mm -hmm. it might not be on your side. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people, especially in a small town mm -hmm. where I come from, some people have never, actually never met a black mm -hmm. person. So sometimes they will look at you in a certain way, not because they're trying to be rude, mm -hmm. but because they've actually never met a black person before. <laughs> and some of them will want to take pictures, and some of them Movies. will... Yeah, yeah, and some of them will actually ask you questions like, do you know this? And some of them, some of the things I actually don't know, like, do you, and do you live with a lion in your yard? And I'm like, no, I've actually never seen a lion with my own two eyes. I'm curious too. Yeah, they're like, do you have a lion in your yard? I'm like, no, I don't live with lions. So no, you... No tiger. <laughs> I wish I had a tiger. <laughs> But yeah, so okay. it's not, I wouldn't say it's discriminative, mm -hmm. but you do get instances where there's uh, certain misunderstandings. Places, misunderstandings. Yeah. And you find places that actually they will ignore, mm. inviting like foreigners uh, into the like right. clubs and certain places. Mm. They know themselves. I would mention. Mm, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, you do find places though where if you're a foreigner, if you're uh, a yeah, foreigner, right, they don't right. allow you to come in. They will use a different excuse obviously and say we are full, we yeah, have no right. tables, but of course we do. Well, I don't know the reason. Right. What? What is this? This is Mohesta! 
so when I first came to Korea, I had like very, it was pretty long. Oh. It was similar to this, but it was very, very long. I got a lot of stares. Oh my God. Like a lot of people were like looking at me, staring me down. Mm -hmm taking pictures while i'm not watching i don't know if people actually know like phones in korea uh -huh. they actually have a click sound uh -huh. when you take a picture mm. so sometimes you will hear like clicks of people actually taking pictures of your hair mm. and it's very uncomfortable sometimes i feel like it's very very uncomfortable to hear someone taking a picture it's mm. very it would be nice to say ah, can i take a picture and don't touch my hair <laughs> okay, i will not touch <laughs> don't touch my hair <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next question is uh, Can you tell me about some experience that you have or your friends have in mm -hmm. Korea? How is dating Korean guys? I will start with the good, right? Mm -hmm. Korean guys are quite amazing guys If you want someone who's very affectionate Who's gonna check up on you every now and then Who's gonna ask you, are you okay? Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. And all these things They're quite good on that So they, they actually make really good boyfriends and they do quite a lot of like cute stuff for you oh. <laughs> they'll buy you some, like even small things flowers yeah. and all of that but with everything there's also like a bit side of things mm. which is not all korean guys mm. some of them mm -hmm. you do find a whole lot of amazing ones but some of them okay so number one mm -hmm. they will ghost you so oh. ghosting is you meet someone today and whatever happens and then you'll never hear from them ever again or they will you'll hear from them when they need whatever they need from you whether they want to sit for coffee or what oh, so yeah funny. and some of them you will know they don't want to be seen sometimes mm -hmm. walking around with like their girlfriends especially during the day mm -hmm. i don't know whether they don't want to be judged but it doesn't happen quite a lot it does happen but not a lot pros and cons yeah. pros and cons <laughs> and it's not all of them there are right, ones right, that right. will walk down the street holding your hand so yeah, it's not right, everyone right. People are different, guys. But yeah, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> guys are or anywhere. No, exactly. It's not a Korean thing. Every guy can ghost you, actually. I love modern family. Gloria said <laughs> Oh, mental anyone. Exactly. <laughs> ah, I want to talk about the beauty standard. Korean beauty standards make black women harder. I think for me, I will talk about my own experiences. Mm -hmm. Since I've been in Korea, I found that I'm very conscious about myself. Mm -hmm. Like wearing makeup almost every single day. Mm -hmm. My weight, because everybody around me is skinny. <laughs> so I'm always constantly worried about gaining weight and not actually understanding that our genes are different. Uh -huh. Asians are skinny, like yeah. they're very skinny. And we are like, you know, so you need to work extra hard to be skinny. Uh -huh. So it's just constantly, I mean, even if you go to work without mm -hmm. makeup, there's certain people that will ask if you're okay. And you're just like, yeah, yeah I'm right, okay. Right. I'm just not wearing makeup. And the treatment is also different. Like when you wear makeup, they treat you like you're so important, like you have something important to say. When you don't have makeup, oh my gosh, it's mm -hmm. like you're not even there. So yeah, they're quite high because every single person that you meet, they look good. Koreans look amazing guys they're beautiful all the time makeup all the time skinny all the time i just don't know how they do it like honestly i don't know how they do it <laughs> yeah they they yeah they care about their appearance a lot they're exactly really... like oh my gosh it's yeah, so you know, hard everywhere there's a mirror exactly yeah. even at work i'm just like what what are these mirrors doing at school? Even oh they, gosh. if they bring the mirrors in, if, the, in their bag. Exactly. <laughs> even if they don't have the mirrors, they will use their phones. Like they're always doing this, and I'm just like, oh my word, I can't. Oh, that's true. That's so true. Yeah. yeah. I think oh, I should talk word. about this on not um, next day, another topic. You should. It's, it's should so know. hard to be here <laughs> and amazing at the same time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We didn't, we were not shooting. Yes. <laughs> so we moved here mm -hmm. because the laser vision zoom was gone. The time was gone. So, okay, I can't sure we can use this place or not, but we were using, so yeah. Okay. We're basically stealing the time in this room. So I'm very nervous, but we're doing this. Okay, let's, yeah. do, let's just do it quick. Okay. Okay, okay so next question is, uh -huh. uh, I'm really curious about that. Do you think African black people are treated differently compared mm -hmm. to American black people in Korea? 
I think not all the time, but it definitely does happen because, especially when it comes to teaching, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I feel like they do prefer Americans mm -hmm. over South Africans, mm -hmm. um, especially because it has to do with pronunciation. Because obviously, we do pronounce things differently. South Africans use the mm. British English and obviously they do prefer the American English oh. so that's where it comes in and in most instances sometimes when you meet people mm. they will automatically think that you are American mm. oh. well it happens to me quite a lot mm. especially by Koreans I mean for me when I see another black person I can definitely tell when they're South African or not <laughs> But when it's a Korean, sometimes mm. they can't really differentiate. Yeah, right. And when they find that you're from South Africa, yeah. I tell you, you get a totally different reaction. I don't know how to put it, but it's not as when they received you the first time knowing that you're from America. The mm. minute you're like, I'm from South Africa, it's like, okay. Nice. And in America, it's like, wow, really? Oh. oh, really? Yeah. South Africa. Good days in Mandela. <laughs> Everyone <Johannesburg>. thinks... <laughs> World Cup? <laughs> Everyone in Korea asks me about Mandela. Mandela died. Yeah. Oh, he's died. <laughs> he died, guys. He died. Okay, mm -hmm. so we don't have lions. Mandela died. Soccer World Cup was in 2010. Okay, okay so we talked about the experience as a black girl in Korea. And uh -huh. uh, it was really glad to listen to your experience. It was really mm -hmm. interesting. And I hope uh, maybe it can be helpful to you if you want to come to Korea or something. So thank you for coming. Thank and... you so much, guys. Thank you. <laughs> And she have her own YouTube channel. It's really interesting too. So I'm not really consistent, <laughs> but you can check it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it was good to see you today. And Thank you. <laughs> okay, Thank you for meeting can, me. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we can meet another time. Oh, can definitely. I will yeah. be back. <laughs> bye bye. Guys. Okay. Bye. Thank guys. you. To Thank see. you for watching. How to say bye bye in? Lita salandri. Lita salandri. Ha <laughs> ha